Hi, my friends. How are you today? Well, we're going to um, do our Isis Oracle weekly reading today, and I am feeling good about it. So let us begin this beautiful reading with the Lady Isis, all right? I hope everyone's having a wonderful day today, and um, you know the process. I already ground the table, and um, you know I'm going to continue the same theme for her, and i um, got my crystals, and you know, just if you haven't watched some of the other videos, just feel free to, so I don't have to repeat myself too much, okay, so we don't keep these videos too long. Okay, but that's all right, because we're learning, right? We're learning what we have to do, okay? We're learning how we're going to heal ourselves, and we're going to work with the energies of the goddesses and the gods that want to take us to the next dimension, okay? That's what we're going to do. All right, so to begin, I'm going to pick um, eight cards from the Tarot of Transition, okay? The Tarot of Transition, and this is the deck. And this was um, designed in 1983, copywritten in 1983. I still don't know who the author is. I've been trying to find out. So, you know, we'll just leave it a mystery. We'll leave it as a hidden realm so it just unfolds. We'll make it special for ourselves, okay? And in this deck, I have taken out all the minor arcana except for the court cards. So we only have major arcana and um, court cards in the deck. Okay, and of course, then we're going to be working with the goddess herself. All right, Alana Fairchild is the author, with much respect. Okay, my friends, and you know I like to stand while I pick the cards, so just get comfortable. And, um, you know, I talk about body alignment, that there's so much about that, so necessary. And um, before I pick this, this for my gal pal there. Serpent of Fire. Alrighty. Now, if this card comes out again, my dear, you know that I will go loca. <laughs> okay. Let's just get grounded. The table has been sage. I've got my beautiful incense burning there from my darling gal, pal. And um, let us begin the reading. And um, I've already done a little of my lavender, which I think I'm going to take one more. I truly believe in deep breathing with a little snort of this organic. You know, if you can spend a dollar or two more for organic, I encourage very, very much to do that. Okay, so let us begin. There we go. We're picking the cards and we invoke. Lady Isis herself to align with what is the best for all of us. Inhale slowly. Slowly. slowly on the final card from the Isis Oracle. Okay. 
Okay. And the cards are on the table. Muy bien. Very good. All right. And let's begin. And we have the Wheel of Fortune. Isn't that lovely to start off a reading? Okay, and this Wheel of Fortune is ruled by Jupiter. And we know Jupiter is about abundance. So let us continue picking the cards. But definitely this is a fabulous, fabulous card about happiness and, you know, wisdom of learning where we're going on our journey, etc., etc. But we'll, we'll just select the cards and then we'll come back to all of them, okay? And we have him again. The Knight of Coins, the Charioteer of Keprera. Okay, we know the coins is that earth element sign, and the knight is that young man who has a lot of gumption behind him. He's ready to go and fight for his cause. Okay, very good, very good. All right, and here we have. Luna has come through for our full moon in Aquarius, Sun and Leo. I love it. <laughs> and we know that Luna is ruled um, by Pisces or the fish, you know. I mean, that's what I love Luna because I'm my sun sign is Pisces. Beautiful. Adore you. And I'm. Um, Consuor, I don't know, you know, it's spelled K H O N S U, the god, but if I miss, I have to go online and, and learn the pronunciations, my friends. But even though I probably will, my dialect will change it. Pharaoh of Heset, King of Cups, Tutankhamun is in the house. King Tut, wonderful. And I'm sure we're all the infamous King Tut. Definitely, Tutankhamen, King of Cups. And I've shared this before. The King of Cups is my favorite king of all the kings in the Tarot. Definitely, because he rules by his emotions, but yet he is firm and solid. Okay? Beautiful. Beautiful. Thank you, King Tut, for coming through. Okay, here we go. Look who changed the score now. We have a Mitch and the Devil card has come through. Obviously, he wanted to, which is good because, or I'm not saying the word good, but let's say it's fair because we talk, we're talking about balance, and that's what we have to do to heal ourselves, balance our lives, not stay in the dark pit, and, you know, we go towards the light but the balance, so he's come through, so we will read about Amit, and um, look at his cartouche, it's loaded there, woohoo, I, I need to learn about uh, the symbols for the cartouche, we're learning people, every day we learn something, okay, okay, every day, but the devil, that's all right, he has wisdom too, I have a video coming about, uh, all this, I, oh, we yeah. have, and then who's between the devil, Luna, and her priestess, ah, see that energy right there, this is how we balance the devil right there, excellente, the priestess is here, the high priestess herself, Samarif, fabulous, and Samarif, I did locate a little information, um, she is the priestess herself of Isis, Isis' personal priestess, Samaret. But look at that devil, ha ha, you're, you're in between King Tot and the high priestess. Muy bien, and, and we got Luna here. Okay, he's cornered, no doubt. Oh, and we have another Knight of Cups, the charioteer of Heset. Beautiful. Okay, and it's intriguing to me how these two charioteers, one's facing one way and one's facing the other, okay? 
So that's a good balance there, too. Alrighty, we got a double whammy here. Okay, and then look who comes through again. Ah, this is a powerful reading, my friends. Thoth himself, the justice card he's given here, but we know he is the wizard, the magician of alchemy. He is the scribe of all scribes. Okay, fabuloso, fabuloso. And I was just highlighting him on my Facebook page in the essence of I Ibis, the bird. Beautiful. And here we go. What card has been selected? Rising sun, the divine solar child reborn. And isn't that wild? Because this full moon in Aquarius is, um, the sun is in the sign, excuse me, Le is, yes, the sun is in the sign of Leo, and Leo is ruled by the sun. So you see this alignment is here on this table. No denying, no denying, no. Ah, it get beautiful. And here she's holding, look at the crown that she has with the solar sun on top of her crown. And then she's holding her baby right there. Wonderful. Oh my goodness, I can't wait to read this. The Divine Solar Child Reborn. Wonderful. Okay, so let us continue with reading the in intro to our Rising Sun card. And then we'll leave the ritual incantation for the end after we read the other cards, okay? The rising sun. Okay. Here we go. The rising sun. The divine solar child reborn. A dark phase and struggle is over. A new phase is upon you. One of hope, glory, light, and triumph. It is one through boldness, persistence. Even when you felt like giving up, you chose to stay strong to surrender to the divine and continue with the path. You have been through much and now. Victory is upon you, my beloved, for the divine solar child, a new consciousness within you is born. Beautiful, beautiful. And I will set the lovely goddess card here so she can witness what's about to unfold with the rest of the deck, okay? All right, and we'll take Shai. Shai, I believe is pronounced. Again, my friends, you know, everybody has a different way to pronounce things, but we know that the energies are here with us. And number 10, beautiful card, wonderful card in the traditional tarot. So let us see what the Wheel of Fortune reads from the Tarot of Transition. Shai. God of destiny is not blind fate that strikes without reason. Rather, this God symbolizes the cosmic and dynamic power which maintains the movement of all the forces that influence your life. Shai invoked only at important moments in your life brings you the ability to make your situation develop favorably and successfully. The Shai card is favorable it signifies a pulsating force, dyna dynamism, development, the inevitable character of events, an electable evolution, the driving force behind your enterprises, which must lead you either to a positive result or to failure. You must take into account possible acceleration in the course of events due to this dynamic force. Okay, my friends, it's all about us, right? And number 10, we've gone through the, you know, the different archetypes. And at the 10th, we've left that hermit introspect at number 9. And then we reach this wheel. And remember, the wheel, you know, we, we get good, bad, and then sometimes not so good, and then sometimes the best. and then. But it's a cycle. It's a cycle. And you make it happen. We make it happen. Okay. I like it. Charity. Charity. 
Charioteer of Kefera, the Knight of Coins. Wonderful. Okay. And then the, the Knight of Coins. Here we go. If Charioteer of Kefera, right. If ill fortune comes against you, grasp it and turn it aside. You have more inner resistance than you imagine. When you fall, stand up again and you will grow strong. Fabulousness. And there's a Japanese proverb where I believe it was by Jerome. Um, I think it was the name of the, the god there, but fall down seven times, get up eight. That's how we do it. Durama style. I think it was Durama. But anyway, it's a Japanese proverb. Fall down seven, get up eight, my friends. And then we have the moon card here. Wonderful. With these, this is how we harness energy. See, we've got a full moon coming and the moon cards come. This is why you have to believe in the divine, my friends. So you can learn to harness the energies. We can all do this, okay? We're, I'm not above anybody. I'm just trying to teach you how to do it, but you have to believe. If you don't believe, it's not going to happen for you. If you don't believe in yourself, you're going to just live that day-to-day -day routine life, which what is that going to give you? How's your soul going to how's your soul going to keep going to that elevation? How are you going to keep going to each archetype in the tarot if you just are routine routine? You got to, you know, break free, get out of the box, okay? You know, get into the cosmos is what we got to do. And go to Luna, my priestess, my love. Okay, and we have Konsu, the moon. The moon god can also plead your cause because of his good advice. Konsu is called the counselor, and through his merciful goodness, he is also known as the clement. The Konsu card is favorable. It signifies Silver, favorable changes, a spiritual leader, an older brother or a friend, clear insight that can lead to success in a difficult situation, strength and comfort through illumination. Mwah! Beautiful, the illumination of Luna, her moonbeams. Get out there for this full moon right now and moon gaze, moon gaze, okay? And set those intentions out there, okay? Say, I'm going to move forward. I'm not looking back anymore, okay? No mas. Get going, people. Get it going. Okay, and the king of cups. The king to knock in the house. Fabulous. Okay. Ooh. Let's see. Okay, here he is. The Pharaoh of Heset. The Pharaoh of Heset. Even if you have known many failures, even if you have often fallen, your inner strength will continue to come to your aid. And that's what we were just saying. You know, people, you got to stay strong. Fall down seven, get up eight. It's within you. It's within you. Okay, and then we have the devil card here, and this is Amet. Okay, and and I've always considered this um this archetype or this image via the Egyptians a very unusual. It's like a combination of different kind of animals, and I will have to investigate this too. We're all learning the cards here, and um, you know what what their energies relate to. Okay, here we go. The monster Amit, crouching beside Anubis, awaits your ruin. Should you be judged unworthy, Amit, the devourer of souls, will engulf you. His jaws are the mouth of destruction and retribution. The Amit card is a destiny card, and it has it here in capital letters. Destiny card. You can see destiny in capital letters, which is the first word I've seen here, except for when they say it's favorable or unfavorable. That's the first word I've seen that's all in caps. The Amit card is a destiny card. It signifies an approaching and 
ineluctable punishment fall after sinning expiation of errors and failures a driving force that collects together hostile powers to bring about your downfall and that's why we heal ourselves from that negativity and again we heal ourselves so we gain that strength so when these kind of energies come through we can battle them okay because it's all about that you know that spiritual warfare the sons of light against the sons of darkness and I have a take-home message for the devil trust me anybody come here with those kind of negative energies we bring the high priestess within us out and we take care of the business no doubt about it okay and I love my priestess CC okay Samarip and this is the priestess personal priestess to goddess Isis lady Isis herself the high priestess Samarip prays to the gods and intercedes with them in favor of those who are going to be submitted to their judgment and you see that's what we're talking about that's where he wants to take you okay to the darker side where you're gonna get stuck in the underworld and the Egyptians you know, wanted to move and reincarnate and move forward, not hang out with the devil. The Samarif card is favorable. It signifies an influential man or woman who will intercede in your favor after you have started out on your enterprise. One point is important for this intervention, and that is if you help yourself, the interceder will help you. Well, there we go. You got to get off the couch, get off your butt, get out of your dark-sided thoughts and negative and move forward because then these energies will help you. And again, my friends, I'm in my 50s, okay? I've been up and down, down and out and, all, and, and high as a kite of happiness. But we keep moving, okay? We don't wait for destruction to come our way. We stop that. Charity of Hesser, Knight of Cups. Wonderful. Okay, we've got some cup action. I love the cups. You know, being a Pisces, I'm all about that. No doubt about it. Okay. Charity of Hesset. It is wrong to judge things by appearances. Master yourself. Look deeply at matters, for there is more good in them than you imagine. And there you go. There is good in this world. You have to be the good one to make it. Again, if there were 10 million Mother Teresas, life would be good. She was one person, but look how many millions she touched. Billions. Everybody knows who Mother Teresa is. One person, okay? She was one person, but she followed her divine path. And this is what we have to do. I'm not saying we have to become like Mother Teresa, but her energies, her alignment, we code with her. And then we want to code with this master also. No doubt about it. Yes, my dear. I'm going to have to do a video just for him, actually. I think I will. It just popped in my head. I think I will have to highlight him in just one video. Number eight, Thoth, justice. Thoth is the judge. He weighs your deeds and communication and communicates the results of his examination to the Supreme Judge, Osiris. And Osiris in this deck is the Emperor. Though not benevolent or malevolent, Thoth symbolizes the antagonist who opposes you. The protagonist, symbolized by card 13, which is card 13 is a menti. That's the underworld, the death card, okay? Because you know how those Egyptians you know, thought about that death, going into that afterlife, going into that underworld, that underworld, okay? So, let me continue here. The Thoth card signifies the different powers which rise up around the question you have posed. Naturally, the number of favorable or unfavorable cards close to Thoth will have an influence on the judgment. Well, I'd say we only have one, but look at that. Look who's, who Thoth is next to, okay? So, I mean... 
I, I position these cards all randomly, okay? I don't put them in order. I like to pick them randomly and place them randomly. So you see, and he's staring at the Amit devil, okay? And he's in charge, not the devil. So align with thought, my friend, align, okay? Read about him, whatever you gotta do. All right, and now we have the rising sun. The divine solar child is born. Oh, it's wonderful. Just wonderful. And we're going to read the ritual and read the incantation, and then we will close. The ritual of the rising sun. The ritual is best done at sunrise, which makes it extremely special and potent. If you cannot do this physically, you can visualize the sunrise and the guided exercise below. Take yourself to a place where you can watch the sunrise. Have a wrap with you to keep you warm during this cool time of transition. If you are at the beach or sitting in a natural setting, I've never picked this card, okay? So I'm just reading with you. I'm just learning with you. If you are at the beach or sitting in a natural setting or even on the floor, be aware of the earth beneath you, the texture and temperature. Allow yourself to sense and feel the earth through your bottom and legs. Be aware then of your belly and your breath and slowly draw your awareness to your solar plexus in the midsection of your abdominal area where your inner sun shines. Feel the energy there. Imagine feeling it with the light, color, and energy of the rising sun. Let the energy in your solar plexus grow and reach to the belly and the heart. Observe the sun rising. Stay with your solar plexus, your belly, and your heart. Don't think, just feel and receive. Oh my goodness, that's beautiful. When you are ready, open your hands, palms facing upwards. Oh, Jen, I'm going to try to read this with my palms facing upwards. Palms facing upwards towards and slightly outwards towards the rising sun and very slowly raise your arms as though you can cup the sun in your palm raising your arms slowly in a celebration joy and acknowledgement to the sunrise say aloud i honor the rising sun within without new life i honor now let there be life hope and optimism in your heart. When you are ready, lower your arms and you may like to finish the ritual with the incantation below and then enjoy some drumming, dancing, or yoga in the fresh light of the new dawn. Ah, oh, okay, and the incantation of the rising sun. You can say this incantation to close your ritual or as a separate prayer of hope and optimism may time at any time, your spirits need to connect with joy, and it reads, Rising Sun, I am, in capital letters, I am your solar child. I bask in your love, free and wild. I am filled with your hope, endless and free. Your light and love fills up parts of me. The darkness cast away. Joy is now born with the sweetness of the spiritual dawn. Ah! Oh. Oh, my Lord, help me. Where's my Florida water? Where's my Florida water? <laughs> this is what we do. This is what we do. Wonderful. Ay, ay, ay. Thank you for that, Lady Isis. Beautiful. That was beautiful. And I will close with one last card from my 1111. Because these are the star beam messages. And we'll just pick one and I'll turn my head because of these cards I, uh, I love. Okay, next sunrise, I know what I'll be doing. And we have star beam, beautiful star planet. Birthed into light, we grow as one star being, I am on a star planet. There we go, my friends. That's where we come from, and that's where we shall go. And the Egyptians knew that.
because they're coded. They're star beings themselves. Their DNA was coded, okay, by the star beings. Namaste. Mucho, mucho gusto. Mucho amor. Much love. And my friends, just keep praying and heal yourselves, okay? It's all about healing. Goddess Isis, it's all about healing. All right, get out of the funk, okay? And, and, and it's easier said than done, okay? But the older I get, I don't want to go backwards or stay in the dark pit, okay? We keep moving. We keep learning. Every day we learn. I learn every day something, okay? And I appreciate when you show your attitude of gratitude, okay? Because when these souls and these, you know, sometimes these ghosts that come through here, they tell me all the time, life is short, life is short. So what are you waiting for? What are you waiting for? Make, make it happen, okay? Make it happen. And let the initiation begin. Ciao, my friends. Have a good day.